Back out of friends, Rob Pip alongside Brian Adams from the Dos Equis broadcast booth, Bearcats. Trailing 28 to nothing. Montana State has came in here and said, you know what, we don't care about any type of win streak. We don't care that you're the number one team in the nation. We're going to come in here and play Montana State football. And they have done that here. Give them credit. 28 to nothing, 746 to go on the Miller Time game clock. But really, and I don't want to take away from Montana State, but it's been Bearcats with mistakes that we have not seen this season. Eric Schmidt already with two interceptions. Both of those have led to a score, and then the penalties led to a score. Here's a kickoff for Montana State from left to right. This one booms into the end zone. And Sam Houston will once again start from their own 25-yard line, their sixth possession of this evening. And you see that 28 up there on the board, only 158 yards for Montana State. 101 through the air, 57 on the ground. Normally, if you look at those type of numbers, you would say, how is it 28 to nothing? But again, I keep going back. It's because of the penalties and because of the turnovers. Yep, and the one unfortunate uh, targeting call that uh, the multiple people who are watching it have said no way is what it is. So uh, it's unfortunate we lose Markel Perry, number 33, terrific linebacker. But now it's all about this offense putting points on the board. Here's Trey. Here's first and ten for Schmidt, passing a flat over to Cody Crest on the left side and. Nothing there for Cody Crest. Maybe a yard on the progress up to the 26-yard line. Good tackle out there by this Montana State Bobcat defense. Ty Okada was on one of them there for that tackle. You know, Sam Houston, Rob, are throwing these little one- and two-yard routes, and the reason is they can't get enough time to look downfield. Uh, receivers going down. I mean, and that is something that you got to tip your hat to Montana State to. They're doing such a terrific job in the secondary. But somehow, Sam Houston offensively has got to make some big plays. And now we've got an injured Montana State player down there. It is uh, Ty Okada who had that tackle just a few moments ago. He has a couple attending to him. Hope that that young man is okay. And it appears to be so as the training staff will help him up. Okada, the 5'11", 185 junior out of Woodbury, Minnesota. 69 tackles. That's one of their lead guys on that team. In fact, I believe he is the leading tackler on this Bobcat team, and so that would be a huge loss for them. You never want to see any type of injury knock out someone in the ball game. No, you sure don't. But again, I mean, that's, uh, that's these guys all understand that's uh, part of the game. So that's why if you're the second behind the starter, you've always got to be prepared and ready because you never know when it's going to be your turn. Got to get Showtime Ezard involved. He lines up as a Bearcat to the right alongside of Day. One receiver is crest down to the left. Second and eight from the 27. For Eric Schmidt, claps for it in the gun. Throws this one over. Crest, it is caught first down by Cody Crest across the 35 to the 36-yard line. That's a first down for the Bearcats. Nice play there by Cody Crest. I mean, he runs beyond the markers. Eric Schmidt hits him perfectly. First down for Sam Houston. Trips right, nobody left. First and 10 for the Bearcats on the left hash from their own 36. Four up front for the Bobcats. Here's a handoff here to running back Smith up across the 40, still on his feet. Boy, pushing those big legs up to the 42-yard line. It looked like initially was going to go down after only a gain of three or four, and then Noah Smith said, I'm not done yet, guys. And he powers it across the 40 to the 42-yard line. How about that? Yeah, one of the great things with our running backs, Noah Smith, Ramon Jefferson, is they still keep those legs driving. It's first and 10 for the Cats on the 36. Two receivers right throw. Cody Crest left side. He is drilled at the belt line, but he's got enough for another Bearcat first down at the 47-yard line. Move those chains for the second time. The Cats have got to score here. 6.17 to go and ticking on the Miller time game clock here in the first half, trailing 28 to nothing. Schmidt stands in the gun. High snap. Hand off here to Smith. Smith finds daylight across the 40. Still on his feet as he shakes one defender down to the 30-yard line. Oh, baby, what a run by Noah Smith. Noah Smith takes the handoff, goes to the left side, cuts it outside, picks up a block and a big first down. Again for Sam Houston. Move those chains again, Mama, for the third time on this drive. It's to the Montana State 31. First down and 10. Schmidt in the gun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Remains Cody Crest. Here's the snap. This time it's Ramon Jefferson. 
as he traced his way to the left, back over to the right on the left hash mark. And Ramon, come on, Jefferson, to the 34-yard line, a gain of five. The good thing on this drive here, one, they're moving the chains, but two, they're finally getting their running game to work and get some yardage. That'll open up the passing game eventually. Empty backfield as Noah Smith will line up as a receiver here, two down to the left, trips up to the right, Jefferson back to the sideline. Now Smith will rotate over to the right side, look for Schmidt to pass in that area. Here's a pass, and this one is dropped by Ife Aday. Well, there's a reason we call Ife Aday hands of glue, because every time that ball is thrown to him, it sticks to his hands. That is a very rare drop by Ife Aday. Yeah, they were trying to set up a screen over on the right-hand side, and Eric Smith just threw a bullet only about 10 yards away. Man, you got to have a little touch on the football when they're that close to you. All right, here we go, friends. It's third down and five for Sam Houston. Got to convert here. They are 0 of 5 today. The team that led the Western Athletic Conference, 10th in the nation, have not converted on third today. Third and five from the 26 of the Bobcats. Two receivers to the right. Here's Schmidt. He wants to keep it to the right side. Being chased, he's not going to get there. Boy, he is drugged down. Schmidt could not turn it upfield. And he lost some yardage. Three-yard loss back to the 29. Well, you got to go for it here. I mean, you're down by four touchdowns. Yeah, and it'll be a 46-yard here for Seth Morgan. Well within his range, but the wind is blowing. And Sam Houston going to go for it here. Boy, fourth down and eight for Sam Houston. 37% on fourth downs. Third in the whack this season. Here we go. It's Schmidt in the gun. Two receivers to either side. Running back to his left. Schmidt stepping back. Breaks through the pocket. Schmidt's got room. He's going to take a leap to the fender. It's another Schmidt somersault for a first down to the 16-yard line. Oh, baby, what a play by Eric Schmidt. Boy, he has got a heart of a lion. Eric Schmidt, the O-line does a good job. Nobody's open downfield. He takes it himself over the left side. He has a defender coming up to stop him short. He jumps over the defender, picks up the first down. He got it coined as the Schmitter salt versus UIW. Did it there again. First and 10 from the 17 inside the red zone. Schmidt throws over left side. It's Noah Smith to the 10, and he slammed down at the nine-yard line. A great pass to the left side to Noah Smith. You're right, Rob. I look up and I see number 12, Jaquez Ezard. They have got to get that young man involved. He is way too talented to not be involved in this big game. It's first and 10 for Sam Houston. And the ball now at the nine-yard line. Or actually, I beg your pardon, it's second down and two from the nine. Here's Schmidt. Handoff goes to Smith. He's got the first down across the five, down to the four. That was actually Ramon Jefferson for the first down. Yep, handoff right up the middle. Ramon Jefferson picks up the first down. Bearcats are threatening, and they need this bad. The Bearcats have had enough, trailing 28 to nothing, 2.50 to go here in the first half of the Miller time game clock as a day and crest down to the left, Ezra up top to the right. It's a day in motion. Hand off to a day. He gets a block from Sly. Spins around and he's down to the one yard line on the right hash mark. Good block down there from the tight end, Isaac Sly. Boy, that was a good block. A day he cut right in front of Sly. Thought he was going to get in the end zone. Comes up a yard short. Brings up second down. Bearcats have to punch this one in. Dalton Meyer, the tight end, into the ball game now. As the Bearcats have it. It's second and goal from the one. Schmidt in the gun. Has Ramon Jefferson to his right. And we've got a whistle and probably a timeout here. Timeout, Montana State. Timeout. Montana State. That's their first charge by nine and a half. All right, Brian, we'll keep it right here. Again, thanks for joining us. This game today brought to you in part by our good friends from AGB. No store does more than my H-E-B. Also, nothing beats the power and excitement of live events like Ticketsmarter.com. Download the app today. For the best selection of handcrafted Texas-made wood smoke sausage, make the short drive to Riverside and visit the great folks at Talent Sausage and Grocery at 3736 Highway 19. Back at it here, 2-11 to go on the Miller Time game clock. Sam Houston trailing Montana State 28 to nothing in this FCS quarterfinal matchup 
But the Bearcats are threatening second and goal from the one yard line. It was fourth and eight moments ago when Eric Schmidt took it himself and did another one of his coined Schmitter salts and got the first down. Dalton Meyer will head back over there. Ramon Jefferson, the running back. Meyer, the tight end. Schmidt having a talk with Dalton Meyer. I would look for a run here to the right side as Schmidt had a quick, brief conversation with Meyer. One receiver to the left, two up top. As Meyer will now go to the left side. Schmidt in the gun. Here's a high snap. Hand off Jefferson. Cuts it. Trying to power his way forward. And that second effort, did he get in? He may have been stopped oh, just inches short. Good night. Cody Kress says touchdown. The officials down there haven't called anything yet. And he may have been stopped just a few inches, Brian. I believe that is. He is just an inch oh, short. Boy, listen to this crowd. They're looking at it on the uh, big screen here. Yeah, he was stopped just about an inch short, Brian. Wow. That's a good call. Oh, baby. Third down and goal from the one. Bearcats trying to punch it in. Schmidt calls for it. Here's the handoff. No, he keeps it. He's got the touchdown. Eric Schmidt from one yard. And the Bearcats are on the board for the first time tonight. Bearcats stop the bleeding. They almost have a picture-perfect drive all the way downfield. Eric Schmidt takes it in from the, the one-foot line. Bearcats are now on the board. Don't ever count these Bearcats out, friends. 28 to six where it stands right now. And Sam Houston is gonna line up for two here, Brian. Schmid in the gun. Three receivers up top to the right. One of them's Brennan Tibbs. Noah Smith in motion. Four up front spread for Montana State. Schmid looking. Throws this one over, it's intercepted. Oh my goodness. The Bearcats go for two, and Schmidt throws a pick down in the end zone on the extra point attempt. Boy, that's three picks so far in the first half for Eric Schmidt. That is the only flaw of that drive was that two-point conversion, and Schmidt threw it right down the center, and it was picked off. 28-6. Nonetheless, a much-needed score for Sam Houston. Well, now Sam Houston's defense. you got a minute 28 left in the half. Somehow, somebody on this defense has got to make a big play. Maybe get the ball back and give our offense another play or two to try to put more points on the foot on the board. And remember this, Bearcats won the toss. They deferred. They will get the ball back to start things in the third quarter. But here, though, as you just said, Brian, good point. The defense has got to hold Cameron Hearn will boot this one into the wind. Hearn can normally blast it into the end zone, but with the wind at him, the flags are all flying at half staff here in memory of those tornado victims in Kentucky. And that is where Hearn will kick into from right to left. With 1.28 to go, here's Hearn on the right hash, swings his right leg. This one is on its way, it's a short kick. Takes as a bounce around the 10, fielded 15, 20. Over hurdles a defender and down across the 25 to the 26 yard line. 